two. Another video, this is gonna be day four of the training split, which is gonna be shoulders. And uh, for myself, um, these exercises are kind of geared towards because every uh, workout, you know, I kind of work on weak points. Uh, for me, the, actually my entire shoulder is my weak point. <laughs> um, you know, my front's definitely my strongest, obviously, you know, because um, in most cases the front delt will be stronger just because of your overall pressing, your bench press and everything, your uh, front delts will get a lot of work because of a lot of that. But for me, the front delts are obviously probably the strongest and uh, my rear delts and the sides are the ones that I'm trying to bring up a little bit. Um, so it's kind of geared around the entire sh shoulder, the fullness of the shoulder, and to get that V taper. So to get that shoulder to kind of to keep coming out. So a lot of lateral raises. Um, so here we go. First exercise is going to be behind the neck presses. And um, for me, this exercise works really well. I feel the pump a lot in my shoulder. Um, it feels really good on the way up, all the way down. I don't go all the way down. I, go, I only go to probably about the lower part of my ear and then back up just to keep constant tension on the shoulder in the areas that I want to focus on. Um, so five sets of 12 for that, doing a classic pyramid set, doing um, uh, 12, 12 uh, reps on the first set, um, increasing the weight but staying at 12 reps, and then 10, increasing the weight, 10, increase the weight more, and then eight. So 12, 12, 10, 10, eight. Um, so five sets of that for the first exercise. Next exercise is gonna be um, dumbbell overhead presses. And I'm gonna stand up so I can incorporate my core in that movement as well, just stabilizing the core. And uh, dumbbell overhead presses, and that's gonna be uh, five sets of 12 again. So a lot of volume to start off at first. And, and I'm trying to go as heavy as possible in these first two movements the behind the neck presses and the dumbbell shoulder presses, trying to go as heavy as I can. Um, and on the last set of the dumbbell overhead press is gonna do a drop set, um, and then move on to the next exercise, which is gonna be standing lateral raises. And um, this is to get, obviously, the width of the shoulder going, and um, obviously gonna do uh, probably about five sets of 12 here, and I'm trying to only take maybe like 15, 20 seconds rest in between this, but the entire rec uh, workout gonna take about 30 seconds rest. But for the lateral raises, I'd probably take about 15, 20 seconds, a little bit less rest, uh, just trying to incorporate you know, as much blood as I can into those shoulder muscles. So um, that's the next exercise. Uh, next one is gonna be bent over lateral raises. So doing lateral raises like this, and then gonna be seated and then bent over, and then gonna do four sets of 12 on that one. And then gonna move to cable uh, lateral raises just to continue to burn out the uh, shoulders with the dumbbells you know you have tension kind of going from here to here with the cables you have tension through the entire movement so I'm just trying to continue to burn out the shoulder with the lateral raises and after that I'm gonna finish with some upright rows um, five sets of 12 upright rows and then gonna do a drop set after every one on the last set of every exercise in this one so um, so yeah, so doing uh, behind the neck presses, barbell over or uh, dumbbell overhead presses, lateral raises, bent over lateral raises, cable lateral raises, and upright rows. Um, so yeah, give the workout a try. That's what I have for day four. Day five coming soon.